Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Made Every Day. Today, let's make a changing pad cover for your baby's room. It's really simple, and all you need is a towel. So let's get started. It never really dawned on me to make my own changing pad cover until we redecorated my daughter's room. I was tired of the boring old white one, and I'd seen so many cute towels at the store that I thought, why not make a cover from the towels? So that's what I did. And guess what? It took about 15 minutes. So let's make one. Here's what you need. A large towel and two yards of half inch wide elastic. You can use a variety of fabrics for a changing pad cover. You could try minky or fleece, flannel, and you can even buy terry cloth fabric, which is what a towel is made of at the fabric store. But what I like about using a bath towel is that it's already 30 inches wide, which is perfect for a changing pad cover. And the thing I like about terry cloth fabric in general is that it's super absorbent in case your baby has a little accident when you're changing. So first let's cut to the proper dimensions. You need a rectangle of fabric, 30 by 46 inches. The best way to do that is to fold your towel in half like I've already done here. Take your tape measure, measure down 23 inches, and then let's just cut that. Okay, now let's finish off these raw edges of the fabric so we don't find little pieces of towel all over our house. The thing about terry cloth is that it can be a real mess to work with. So resist the urge to clean up until your project is done. And you may want to run a limp brush over your clothes before you head out of the house. So what we're going to do is finish off this raw edge so that we can minimize the mess getting everywhere. If you had a serger, you could easily just serge down that side. But we're just going to use our standard machine and what we're going to do is use a zigzag stitch and that will kind of enclose that edge for us. And what I like on this baby lock is that I can increase the width of my stitch. So I'm gonna increase this to a wider zigzag stitch so I really get a good coverage. Just start sewing down. You wanna sew as close to the edge as you can so that it's kind of, well, enclosing that edge. And this won't completely get rid of the mess for you, but it will help. Okay, now we're at the end. Let's go to the other side as well. Now these next steps are really similar to sewing a crib sheet, which is another video here on my channel. The only difference is that we're gonna cut the squares seven by seven inches to create those pockets that make the cover nice and snug around the changing pad. I've created my little pattern here from cardstock, seven by seven inches, and I'm only gonna cut two layers of terry cloth at a time because it's a bit bulky. So fold your towel in half and first cut the top two corners. Just use your scissors and cut right around. Okay, now move your towel down and cut the other squares at the bottom. Again, I'm cutting through two layers at the same time. Okay, and now we're ready to sew our corners. Take two of the raw edges in the corner, bring them together with right sides of the towel together, match them up, and then you wanna sew right down that side with a zigzag stitch to enclose all these little raw edges. Stick your fabric under your machine and use the same zigzag stitch that we used before. And just start going. So as close to the edge of the fabric as you can, so you can enclose as much of that raw edge as possible. And just sew all the way down. Do a little back stitch at the end. And I'm gonna use my special cutting function. I love that on this baby lock machine. Cuts everything for me. I don't even have to use my scissors. Now let's go to the other corner. Right sides together. So right down the side. Okay, I made it to the end. I've done all my corners. Now all we have to do is sew the elastic around and then we're done. Now grab your half inch wide elastic and what we're gonna do is start at one of the sides and stretch the elastic as we sew it to the towel. So let's put it under our machine. You wanna make sure that you're sewing on a zigzag stitch again. And as you sew, pull this elastic as tight as you can. And as you can see, I'm using my left hand back here to kind of guide my fabric. You don't want to pull it, you just want it to be kind of tight. You want to make sure that you're pulling this elastic as tight as you can pull it as you sew. The tighter you pull the elastic, the more the cover will cinch up and sit snugly around the changing pad. As you can see, it's already starting to bunch up really nicely over there. Now, if you find that you're going a little too fast with your foot pedal, you can always control the speed of your machine 
And I can adjust that right here to go a little bit slower so that I don't go crazy with my foot pedal. So just do whatever works for you so that you're getting a nice clean stitch all the way down. When you get to one of the seams, you wanna go slowly so you don't jam your machine with all this bulky fabric. If it helps, if your fabric is super thick, you can always manually turn your needle with your machine on the side. Okay, just like that, I'm back to the beginning and I'm just sewing right over where I started. A few stitches, do a back stitch, cut your threads, and then you just wanna cut off this excess elastic. And let's see how it looks. Look how great that looks. And it really only took us about 15 minutes. I've got my changing pad here, let's try it on. There we go. Now let me share a few more tips with you. Now what if you find a towel you love that is less than 30 inches wide? Or what if you have a cool old antique towel that you wanna to turn into your changing pad cover? Well, what you can do is buy another towel that coordinates with the same colors, cut a strip of fabric, sew the two together to create a larger piece of fabric that you can then turn into your changing pad. And if you just can't find a fabric that you like, you might try making your own. I really wanted yellow and white stripes for my daughter's room and I couldn't find a striped towel that I loved. So, I made one. I bought a yellow towel and a white towel, cut them into strips, and then sewed them all together. And now I have one large piece of fabric that I can cut out and turn into the perfect changing cover for my house. Get creative, have fun, and you're never gonna to wanna to buy one at the store again. For more ideas and tutorials, check out my website, madeeveryday.com. And for more information on sewing machines, go to babylock.com where it's all for the love of sewing. I'll see you next time.